Hey guys, this is Ashley and Rest, and this is She Wolf Alchemy. And today we're talking about the art of receiving, of letting people give back to you, not always being the person that comes around and give gifts of patience, love, understanding, money, help, whatever it is. And then you sit back and either no one is giving back to you or you don't allow people to give back to you. It feels awkward and weird learning how to receive because you deserve nice things too. Ashley, mm -hmm. do you feel like you are good at receiving? I could be better at it. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think my thing is kind of like like being more of a giver because I wouldn't I wouldn't call myself that mm -hmm. necessarily not that I can't be but that is not my natural state it's more kind of like I'll just have my stuff and you just have your stuff and we'll just we'll just do like this <laughs> independently ex coexist let's just yeah let's just do that if I don't if you, if you don't if I don't take anything from you you won't ask nothing of me and then we'll just all be okay yeah. it's kind of more how I how I get stuck um so it's like so yeah so even when people express that feeling of like oh you know how you just give and give to others and they don't give back I'm like no because <laughs> I don't do that <laughs> And when I do, but I am very intentional about like, when I do give, I I want to be gracious about it. Like, I don't want to have any feelings about it. It's not my last. It's not mm -hmm. like, you know, I don't try to overextend myself because that creates resentment. And I know that, and I don't like resentment. So, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah. But your question was, oh yeah, but am I good at not Not so great. But I think it comes from like that fear of like, if I start receiving stuff what are you gonna what you gonna go take from me <laughs> this is the aquarius y'all the humanitarians by the way <laughs> oh no that's what y'all keep telling me about y'all selves <laughs> oh goodness because i want everybody to have their own so don't come take mine <laughs> oh gosh I yeah everybody having their own <laughs> we're not mad at you we're not mad at you at all <laughs> but no, no that's a nice little balance ish it's a little skewed but that's that's more of a balance i feel like i definitely definitely overgive. Mm -hmm. i definitely definitely overgive. not even just like physical gifts like i'm definitely the person that's just like I, I, just let me do it let me do it i'm gonna just do it for you i know how to do it i'm good at doing it i'm gonna just do this and it's fine no no Oh, you're good you don't have to give me anything I just and I don't think I get resentful at people but I get resentful towards myself for sure I get really really mad at myself because I'll be like girl you so tired <laughs> just say no just stop doing uh -huh. stuff um and it's interesting because usually like I have I feel like I have good personal boundaries I'm bad at like production boundaries like if I feel like I can do it, whether it be like a work thing, whether it be like a, let me show you how to do this type thing. Um, I don't overgive myself in regards to like relationships in regards to like emotions and stuff, but like I overgive in my efforts when I care about people and my time. I do. I definitely, definitely, definitely do. I'm definitely a like, I mean, I can say another two hours it's fine because it has to be done it has to be done good and i want to a team effort so definitely i um and because of that it's hard for me to receive sometimes but it's not um is it a matter of it's not because i feel like i have to give back that's not the issue why is it hard for me to receive let me think Cause this isn't daddy issue shit. My dad spoiled me. So like, does it feel like a gotcha? Does it feel like there's gonna be a gotcha? Cause sometimes people, I don't know. There's also this whole other thing of like, and again, like I said, for me, it's like, a, cause what you gonna? Yeah. So control too. There are people. It's who, definitely control. There we go. That's why you yeah. like, we ain't gotta go no, no further. Cause there, there are go. people who feel like, oh, I gave you that, so that means I can take it. At least like that's okay. No, not that level of control. But um, that's how. 
I was raised with stuff too of like oh like I provide these things and that means I can take these things from you if there's a problem if you don't do what I say or you don't whatever whatever and so and not necessarily gifts but, but just like anything your stuff oh. <laughs> I can take your stuff so for me being able to have my own stuff like when I first started working and making my own money it was like this is these are my things mm -hmm. and like you cannot take these from me yeah. <laughs> and they, and no one ever did. Like if it, that was a line of like, oh, well that's yours. Cause you paid for it. But yeah, no, that, no, it was not that. Um, I think mine is definitely in control but my control is about my own sense of personal safety. I like a lot of, I do a lot of work around control and it's not so much about like controlling you. So you can't, it was just like, okay, so I can be safe. What can I control for my own sense of safety? So I do feel like, like I, I think about work stuff. It's definitely like that because if I do it, I know how it was done. Mm -hmm. If it's L, then it's my L. I know how to fix the L. I know how to rework the L. But if you do it, I got to rely that you did this. I don't know. I don't know if I rely that you did this. I saw the way you did this the last time. And then mm, just let me go ahead and do this. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm even thinking like, I'm even thinking with like friendships and stuff like where it's just like not so much like oh I'm doing a work thing but it can just be overextending like my time it's more so of a like because you gonna do this I just I don't trust your judgment and that's somehow gonna negatively impact me when you make this mistake so let me just go ahead and do it because at some time it's gonna trickle down to me and then once it gets to that point I can't control what's happening so let me start it off here so then I'll do it. So I'll do it. So we can just all save the headache. <laughs> you just let me start off doing it now. Mm -hmm. That's how it feels with help. It's like, no, 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 I, mean, I got I got it. I got it. Because cause you're not going to do it the way that I want it done. And then I'm going to have to redo it. Or or just not like the way you did it. I just would rather not. So just, mm -hmm. just let me do it. <laughs> cool way. And I'll do it. And it'll be okay. Well, and then also sometimes thinking about before you have brought up control. Also, because I grew up with thinking that was my role to fix things mm. and handle things. And so I feel awkward when I'm not in that role. Mm -hmm. It feels really awkward. Like, okay, then what am I supposed to be doing if I don't help and save people? That's... <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't... My, my real name, my mom has this thing that like breaks down the root of your name or whatever. Mm -hmm. And like the broken down Latin version root of my name one part of it it means like she who cares for the world mm. and my mom always used to say like yeah this is you because you seem to think everything is your responsibility and like you're just supposed to come in and blah 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 so i definitely think that is a part of it like i think that's my role so it feels awkward when you take me out of that like giving role that like mm -hmm. helping that saving role now now what like no you you get saved like, i don't feel comfortable i don't know <laughs> That doesn't feel that doesn't feel like rest i don't know who that character is so definitely mm -hmm. a role thing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but even not just receiving what you may desperately need what about just like gifts just oh i take people. gifts let me, let me be very clear them? i take gifts i, oh, you I have no gifts. problem oh. taking gifts yeah no i i mean i do as well but i but that even still has come with some <laughs> Mm. Of me being able to take it and just not feel a way about it and be like, nope, it's mine. And that's okay. And even if they do try to take it back from me, I'm not going to give it to them because it's my gift. Look at you. Yeah, no, that was never like a, like, oh, I got a gift for you. you. Huh? I'm really having a moment like, why am I afraid of people taking my thing? A girl, girl, <laughs> again. Every now and then you'll you'll be talking about something, you'll be so high energy, like cause I'm Ashley and I do this and I blah blah blah. And I'd be like, mm-hmm, we're gonna touch on that one topic because mm, you, you got some <laughs> you every now and then you 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 glide over something that I know is a thing and I'm like, Well, you know, it's great that she's not remembering that right now. Oh, that's so funny. No, I mean I know why. It's just yeah, I, know. I know you know why. <laughs> uh, it's just funny. But anyway. But, yeah yeah but oh oh yeah 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 oh being able to just be like yeah that's no no gifts even like oh my gosh like like every now and then my mom might just be in a good mood or she'll do something for my sister and then feel bad and like try to do something for me too and like 
put some money in my account. And I used to feel the need to be like, mom, like, why did you send me this? Like, oh, I don't need anything. I can do everything, but I don't need it. And now I just, I just say thank you. And, there. <laughs> and leave it right there. Look at you, growth. That's what that's called. Mm -hmm. Growth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, actual like physical things, no. Mm. I actually go physical, like gifts and stuff, money and stuff. Like, yeah, no, leave that there. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna remind you. You come to the house, like, yeah, girl, and I got your little gift. I'm gonna be like, where's my gift? <laughs> yeah, I think it's just more so uh, non physical things. It's very, very hard for me. Like, doing things for me, it really, yeah, it does feel like, um, what you doing? Like, yeah. So, you assume I need help? Like, it's definitely. <laughs> What you trying to say? Mm -hmm. I don't, even when I do need it, even when I actually do need it, it's just like, mm, I feel a certain type of way. So let me make sure you know. I remember at one point in time, me and one of my homies went to um, this expensive restaurant, right? Like I'm talking like you are paying a couple hundred each for you guys to eat. And I did not want to go to this restaurant. This was not the time for me to financially go to this restaurant. I also, I didn't even know this restaurant existed. It was that, it was that far out of my price range. Like I didn't know this restaurant even existed. And uh, we went there and I, we were like talking and I'm like looking at the menu and I'm like, hmm, hmm, mm. soup's $40. Like I'm like definitely just like, what they put in a soup? Like we're at this moment. Because also it was just a regular afternoon. And that's one thing you have. I don't know if any of y'all are not from Atlanta and have not visited Atlanta, but you got to be careful in Atlanta mm -hmm. because especially if you're not from Atlanta, I'm from the Midwest. I've been here like eight years, but like people will take you on a random Tuesday to do something that costs $500 <laughs> and not think nothing about it. And like, well, not think nothing about it. Like you'd be like, oh, you want to go hang? Let's get something to eat, girl. Let's just, you know, do something fun. And you think like, cool, we might do this thing. You know, that's going to be $50 here, maybe like 65 here. And then like, <laughs> you show up with your like Betsy Johnson purse and everybody got oil, like, yeah. on. and you like, I thought we was going to sip and mm -hmm. pay. Like, why are we? <laughs> Why are, we, why are we in this bougie to go anyways mm -hmm. that's thinking Atlanta. um but yeah and so i remember we was like going out to dinner and i just like wasn't like i had just moved like it was just to be like i was just like this is not i just at all expensive this is not the time and we and my friend like makes really good money and so my friend was just like oh no i got it i got it and i was like no we don't split the bill because and like i did i paid for that and when i tell you for like four months after that it just popped mm -hmm. in my head like a yo dumb ass <laughs> if i still had the damn 200 dollars, <laughs> look yeah. yo dumb ass went out with ballers <laughs> i paid 300 dollars for a freaking meal Lord have mercy. On a random like Wednesday. <laughs> when you thought y'all was I thought we was like I thought we was gonna go to like Houston's at max. You know? <laughs> nah. Nah. That's hilarious. I could kick myself for the times that people have offered to pay for things and I told them no. Right. Like, girl, what? <laughs> like if I if well, yeah, if there was ever like what would you tell your younger self? Like, girl, shut up and say thank you. <laughs> That's what I would tell right. her. Shit, we could have saved so much, so many times. So, 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 so many times. So many times. But, yes. Anyway, yes. Somebody's so listening much. to this like, I do not have those problems. <laughs> Or right, even somebody listening, just like rolling up, like, why? Um, it's not the why? episode for me. <laughs> what are y'all like? Right. Right. What it has shame gotten me? Nothing. It has been a strong, independent woman helped at all. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> but you saying like sitting back and receiving made me like, ooh, that is like quite a feeling. Of like to be able to just be like, ah, I'll just thank you, receive now, like whatever. 
is definitely something that I know I've had to get more comfortable or still getting comfortable with. Mm-hmm. Even simple stuff like, oh my gosh, like even when you pay for the shit. Like I went on, um, I always tell people like going to an all-inclusive resort for the first time, it felt like it had been my first time really going on vacation. And like, cause like my first day there, I was more like, no, like I don't, I can do that. I can take my bag. I can bob. Oh, thank you. But no. And then by this, that second day, I was like, where's the guy that like moves my umbrella? And it just felt so nice after like that, after getting over that crap and being like, girl, you paid to come here <laughs> to be fed and taken care of. And it was just like, it was so nice to just like, they're coming down like, excuse me, ma'am, do you want a massage? I, yes, thank you. I do. <laughs> Do you, would you like another? I would. Yes. <laughs> I think to just be able to just relax and enjoy that and not feel like guilty about it. But really the only way I could was because it was like, I paid for this and I, you know, whatever, but still. I would like to be able to receive yeah. all things in life with that way. And if we really do believe that the universe like gives stuff and your energy matters, you supp- you really should be in a more receptive state and <laughs> be a little yeah. bit more ready to to just sit back and receive yeah i do wonder sometimes like how many things have i missed out on because i've been like no no it's okay <laughs> where you know you'd be like and i mm-hmm. didn't manifest in the universe like i keep sending it to you and you keep <laughs> turning it away so i don't know what yeah. you want home girl i literally you were like ah i just need a good friend who's also as supportive and then that girl at yoga was like, oh my gosh, I like your hair. You're here all the time. And you were like, girl, it is quiet time. And then you turned away. <laughs> like, how many things are we turning away that? Yeah, just by not, I mean, because I, I don't know. I know a lot of friendly people who, who tend to be pretty successful and people who, who welcome help, receive and have no, like, and not in a way that's like, gosh, you can't do, but like literally or just like, if someone's like, hey, you want some help with that? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> four hands are better than two. And they just get the thing done and they just have themselves a good, happy ass time. And they <laughs> stuck together and I don't know, man, but there are people living a great life. <laughs> just, just in receiving mode, just seeing things as a blessing and they don't seem to get burnt too often. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I agree. So yeah, let's talk about that. So some of the things you can do that start small that accept compliments. That's a big one. Yeah. Um, I think a lot of people don't even recognize how bad they are at accepting compliments. Oh I feel like even just being like, I like your hair. Your hair looks nice today. And you'd be like, no, because I keep doing this. <laughs> and you're like, okay, like I literally came on and saw you. And then first thing I thought to myself was like, oh my gosh, your hair is so pretty. And you immediately shut it down to just be like, nah, because it's doing this. And you're just like, you, or you could be like, thanks. Thanks. Yeah, <laughs> right. Just, <laughs> it's funny because working with my clients, I would tell them that that's like with self esteem and stuff like that. That's one of the first few places we start with like, how do you receive compliments? And usually they're like, what do you, like, oh no. <laughs> and like, really break it down. And yeah, they do the whole like, they downplay it, they switch it on, oh, this old thing, and, you know, all that other kind of stuff where they, yeah, but I'm also loud. You know, they'll find a way to try to, and it's like, people don't like that, man. Don't... <laughs> it's also like rude. You like slapping somebody compliment down. It's it's not cool. But um, but that's like one of the first ways to kind of assess that and, and to get people to be able to just be like, just say thank you. Like, that's your homework this week. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh your shirt is so cute you're gonna say thank you and you're gonna walk on what go, go about your business and it's funny when they come back and they're like it was so hard but then they get used to it yeah. you know Ooh, and when we step it up and make them start giving themselves compliments <gasps> okay i have definitely done work with a person where it was like for a month we took five minutes out of session just practice on taking compliments mm-hmm because mm-hmm. you can see them just shrink mm-hmm. when you're like, I notice this thing about you. And it's like, oh, mm-hmm. don't notice me. Don't don't notice stuff about me. But it's good things. No, there's no good things. If you focus too long, you realize it's not good. Nope, I'm focusing. 
it's good. I need you to accept that it's good. No. Accept it. Yep. Yep. I did that with Carl. I literally just, I was like, we're gonna role play. And she was, I was like, and all you're gonna say is thank you. And mm-hmm. yep, she wanted to disappear. I was like, your glasses are so cute. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And you're this, and you she was mm-hmm. just like, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. It is hard. It's but hard. Yeah. 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 But yes, accepting compliments is a good small way to start. So if you notice that's a thing for you. Say so thank you. <laughs> Another one is ask for what you want. In, re- in regards to learning how to receive, let's also start by like asking what we want in the first place. Cause it can make it easier to receive things when we're receiving the things we want. And I think um this sometimes can go back to self-esteem too that just like i don't ask for much maybe that's the problem ask for a lot ask for a lot mm-hmm. you don't get any rewards Mm-mm. i'd be so detailed with the things i ask the universe for i'd be so freaking detailed like i know i was talking to a homegirl of mine and we were like talking about like things we were trying to manifest and she was just like a job just a new job and i was like okay what type of job she's like i don't care just a new job and i was like okay she's like well why you say it like that i'm like girl when i ask for a new job i'm like i want to make at least this much i want this type of boss i want this type of work culture i would like to only have to do this type of note taking i would like there to be no note taking mm-hmm. i want to be virtual I want to only have to come in the office when it's my choice. I want to have free parking. I want it to not be more than 20 minutes away from the house. Mm -hmm. I want it to be like, I be having, I want another, I used to love, I we work downtown. I love my office downtown Mm -hmm. being like, I want a beautiful view there Mm -hmm. from my office. I want a ceiling length windows. Like, Details. Ask for what you want. Details. Yes. And she was like, you're doing too much. Like, and I'd be receiving a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's real. So ask for what you want. Set boundaries with yourself. Be okay with being uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Also, surrounding yourself with like people that you can trust so that you don't have that I guess that anxious feeling of like oh I gotta do something back or I have to Mm -hmm. you know just being able to trust that what they are offering or wanting to give to you is genuine Mm -hmm. surrounding yourself with good people that you can trust which I guess I would say is it's not a small step that's a (laughs) We, we're stepping up okay this yeah is, a, it, yeah that's started a small up. bigger 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 a little bit bigger but yeah try yeah trust is a big part of of that i would definitely mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i think if you are somebody receiving anything trust needs to be a part of that mm-hmm. and i agree being able to surround yourself with others helps because i'm thinking even about myself of um when I was saying I really, really struggle with always like wanting to do for others is about safety mm. for me. And because I'm like, no, if I, it's about safety and control and being like, no, because if I don't do this, I don't know how this will turn out. If I don't know how this turn out, I don't know how to prepare. Blah, 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 blah. But if you're with people that you can trust, like I know that I know that they're going to try their best. I know that they don't have malicious intent. I know that if they do mess up, they're going to give me a heads up. I know that when you surround yourself by people you can trust, it's easier to sit back and just receive from them because I don't have to worry about all these other things that makes receiving feel hard. I trust that you aren't keeping tally marks. I know when you do something, you do it just out of the pure kindness of your heart. You can also set like rules for yourself Mm -hmm. of like, when someone like we were kind of talking about earlier when someone gives you just saying like i'll i will say thank you i'll just receive it graciously Mm -hmm. i'm not gonna try to like double talk about it or or do the whole like no 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 take take this back you shouldn't have and all all that other stuff like just setting those boundaries for yourself and also not feeling like you have to reciprocate yeah not feeling like you have to like oh because it's not a tit for tat Mm -hmm. Like, because they did, now I do. I have to. 
And I'm even thinking of like, you brought up another one that I think is a bigger point of seeing yourself outside of what you can do for others. Can you touch on that? Yeah, I guess like, if I think people can kind of form this as like a part of their identity or like what makes them useful or worthy of others, like what you can do, what you can provide, what you can offer, I guess. Um, but yeah, seeing yourself outside of that, like you aren't, we as individuals are worthy just because we we are. And some would say to even get rid of like saying like, I am enough because it implies that there is a standard of enough and there is no such thing. And so, but yeah, I have to be useful. I have to be doing, I have to be blah, 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 blah. Like taking that away and seeing yourself for who you are outside of what you can do for others, outside of your relation to others. Mm-hmm can help as well to just it's it's okay for you to just exist and it is also okay for you to just like we say be in receiving mode that i am more than my ability to produce Mm -hmm. whatever it is you're producing whether it's love kindness work whatever i am so much more than that yeah because definitely when you base yourself on um i am you know my ability to produce it is so hard to receive because it takes you off that producing role. And if I'm not producing, then what am I? That Uh black mentality. Um, Yeah, no, I love that. I completely, completely agree with that. But I will say, I don't know. I think there should be a standard. I know like people are like, no, don't say I'm I'm enough because some people aren't. I don't care. I don't care. (laughs) Some people aren't. It's usually the folks that has no problems receiving and believing. Right. I mean, I mean, you're always just like, I'm good. And you're like, you're not. They're not listening. Not. Not, they're not. You receive a whole bunch of things and none of us agree that you should have those. You know? <laughs> I mean, but they're not listening to us trying to improve their life. They're just, they're off somewhere. So they know we're not talking to them. Uh, I don't know. They might <laughs> they, be in the passenger they ended, seat. They might be in the passenger the seat episode. riding with the person that keeps giving. Awesome. <laughs> you are not enough i want you to know that <laughs> i want you to work and build yourself up <laughs> lord no 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 those folks who exist where it's like have you no shame and as we sit here like shame should not exist you should not but then you come across something and you're like are you not what what is this have you no shame? i always like again this is a meme i saw like two years ago but i'll keep it in the back of my head of like uh and i've shared this before but there's this meme that was like I just want y'all to know that somewhere right now, the worst person you ever have mm-hmm. met in your life is being told by a therapist that they are enough. Mm-hmm. And it was like, yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Cause there's definitely, there is, um, oh gosh, I think it was a podcast actually, but they were talking about like how we now have like a growing number of narcissists or whatever, whatever. And they were like talking about the different reasons why that might be. And of course, some of it's just like, mm, we're more familiar with the term um mm-hmm. also like so many people are not diagnosed by a clinician they're just like yeah he broke my heart he's a narcissist mm-hmm. so there's that but another part of it was they were like yeah but also you gotta think about it millennial generation kind of grew up in this like our parents didn't do it but then we did it to ourselves like no i am enough i'm great mm-hmm. I'm awesome i'm blah, blah, blah. I was like, you got to think about it. At some point, some of us just took that and was just like, yeah, because no, self-empowerment. I'm doing this because I can. That's your (laughs) problem. You should deal because I have good self-esteem. It was like, they just kind of went with it and it just kept running. Just Kanye that shit. And I think that's a thing. I have met those people. That's a thing. thing. That is a thing. Yeah. The Manate therapist is just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and their therapist defense, though, we can only deal with the info we have. They That's come in there lying true. to us. What 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 we gonna do? How we gonna That's do? true as well. But you know, as there, yeah, but there does come a time where you be like, mm, ooh, yeah, you I think they the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it might take some time. It might it, take it some might time. take some time. And it's hard to the therapist time. Time. Oh, yeah. You know those oh, people, yeah. every therapist yeah, see, is the problem. Mm, they're on their fifth. So it was all the problem. And you're like, I mean, I'm not even going to go there because we, I would get so far off topic, you know, talking about people who say they in therapy. And then you'd be like, are you? Well, what, what do y'all talk about? Because <laughs> I told you, I told you, my dad came and sat and talked to me. It was just like, he's in therapy now. 
And his therapist told him that he has a problem of letting go of the pain and the hurt that he has caused to other people. And he just got to learn to let that go. And I was like, that was not your problem. Let me, let me. <laughs> As someone you have caused pain and harm on, that has never been your problem, being able to let it go and you still do you. That was not. Like, Anytime uh, you talk to me I about his therapist, realize. I'm like, I need you and your therapist to go somewhere. <laughs> because... I did not realize you were struggling with this. <laughs> I don't think that's the... That was so crazy to me. I was stuck on the phone. I just let him talk for like a whole 20 minutes just sitting there like, it's real life. Am I being... That was not your problem. Real therapy would incorporate like collateral contact for like reference checks. I mean... It would be helpful, I'm just saying. It would be helpful. It does not. It does not. Of course not. No, no, no. I say, I'm saying theoretically. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you could be like, yeah, I need to speak to at least one other member of your household. Um. <laughs> this ex that we spent the last year on, can we, can we, can we call her? Can she come in? Can, can we hear yeah. her side? Oh, oh, he got mad and left you on the side of the road at 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. That makes mm -hmm. sense why you keyed his car. That, yeah. that makes a little right. bit more sense. Hmm. Like in order for me to do a thorough assessment, <laughs> I need at least I, one ex, one member, of, one person you've lived with, a coworker. <laughs> girl. girl. Anyway. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Receive and stuff. You know, let people be nice to you because you deserve it. Also, you know, allow people the gift of giving because, like, giving is like a it's. Yeah. it's a good good thing right like people mm -hmm. want to give and if they are offering that to you you know allow them the opportunity to be there for you a lot like and I think if you can see it more of that way of like it's also a gift for them as well to be able to to show someone you care about them through a gift mm -hmm. support someone when they need it whatever that giving looks like like allow people to do that for you allow them to like, let them have it mm -hmm. <laughs> let them be people nice do. people love giving i love giving i do when i give something to someone it's because i really love to and yes definitely gifts because i'm definitely a person of like i heard you mention this before and i'm here and i see it and i'm just like i, I could get this for them they will love this. I and it makes me happy. I get excited. Like, oh, they're gonna be so excited. But also, even with like just being able to help you out, like it doesn't have to be just gifts. It can be time. It can be just being your support. Allow people that, especially the people that love you. A lot of times, like when we take away that right, it can feel really, really cold. Mm -hmm. So yes, be in receiving mode. <laughs> Allow yourself to be able to get a little uncomfortable so you can get comfortable with receiving. And kind of like we said earlier, we're out here asking and wanting things in life. And I really think if we're feeling unworthy of receiving, it would be, it's, it's a lot less likely to come our way. So know that you are worthy of receiving things and allow yourself to receive them. Yes. So guys, that's all we have for today's episode. We ask you to follow us on Instagram or TikTok at SheWolfAlchemy. You can find us at www.SheWolfAlchemy.com. If you're listening, wherever you're listening to this, please give us a review. Give us a review with some words and we'll have a new episode for you next Sunday. Bye. Bye.